course, it took a huge effort to track down Burt Lee and piece together how all these robberies could be connected. A total of 24 officers and investigators worked around the clock with it all coming together early this morning. 1011's Amanda Saltero begins our team coverage. She's live with the details. Amanda? Bridget and Owen, police say it only took 44 minutes for officials to arrest David Burley from the time that he robbed the Egg and I at gunpoint until he came here to the Starlight Motel. We have officers that were staking out different places. In their investigation, police thought David Burley was living here at the Starlight Motel. Sunday morning, they were watching to see if he came back. He did show up shortly after the robbery this morning. Officers uh, observed him in some similar clothing that the robber at the Egg and I was wearing. They went up and made contact with him, located in a Volkswagen Jetta that he had been driving, was a 22 caliber handgun as well as a can of mace. LPD says the investigation is ongoing, but officers believe Ramon Ford was helping Burley. Police say Ford was staying at the Motel 6 that was robbed early Sunday morning. He was assisting uh, David in uh, identifying some of the locations and taking some of the proceeds from the robbery. Investigators are now working on getting more search warrants and interviewing people to link these 12 robberies together. We'll be doing uh, some more in-depth interviews with uh, some of the victims. We'll also conduct uh, some searches through search warrants on some of the vehicles that he had access to as well as a search warrant in the hotel room where he may have been staying, as well as we'll be interviewing um, individuals that are associated with those hotels that may be able to provide some additional information, their comings and goings, things of that nature. Now, police say they did find stolen bank bags from the Egg and I here at the Starlight Motel, and 1011's Taylor Barth is with me, and she spoke with Burley's neighbors. Taylor, what did they have to say? Yeah, people here tell me Burley was actually staying in room 9 here at the Starlight. I spoke with people staying right next door. They tell me they didn't notice anything suspicious during Burley's stay, but they do say they are thankful police caught him. Both neighbors say they realized police were staking out the hotel around 9 a.m. this morning. I spoke with a man. And staying at the hotel named Dennis. Dennis tells me he ran into one guy last night who went into Burley's room with two women who appeared to be in their 20s. Dennis didn't think anything of it. I was uh, coming back from the store and turned, uh, turned the corner around my car and uh, shook hands with a guy and everything. Seemed like a pretty decent fella. And uh, next thing I know, the whole house is bombarded by cops. It gets really loud. And so I heard a bunch of talking, and so I looked out my window, and that's when I saw all the police out here, and there was a officer's car right here, and they were had a bunch of bags on top of the car, and and so I had to, of course, be nosy and <laughs> look and see what was going on. Now, workers tell me Burley had been staying here for four nights, but the woman I spoke with says he's been here at least a week because she noticed his silver car was parked here. Now, be sure to watch 1011 News tonight at 10 for more reaction from people staying here at the Starlight Motel, as well as any interaction they had with Burley during his stay. Reporting live in Lincoln, Taylor Barth, 1011 News. All right, Taylor and Amanda, thank you very much for those reports. Well,